Hey everybody, welcome to a sleepy edition of the Unemployment Games. I just woke up, and I'm going to be busy the rest of the day, so I figured I would knock out an episode of playing this game for you. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Everyone loves hearing someone who's super sleepy. Uh, so when we left off, I believe we were still at the bar, and we needed to go to... Uh, Market Street. I think we're done here. And I chose to save right then because it ga actually gave me a chance to save. Where is Market Street? So this is where we are. Wait, hang on. This is our home, Golden Gate Park, NSFPD station. This is Market Street, okay. So yeah, this is where the protesters are. Just wanted us to break up the protests so people at the uh, at the center would there feel are the comfortable. Protesters. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far, and the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution organization. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? So insult his looks. Uh, let's look at the Hassy sign. It's a, it's a Hassy bar. All drinks are made with Hassy, an energy drink that supposedly has recovering properties. Let's look at it again. The taste of success is a Hassy. Let's show it our ID. You can't buy Hassy from the sign. You have to go inside the Hassy bar or find a Hassy machine. Man, I can tell it sound that it sounds just like I'm a uh, but I just woke up. Genus is one of the leading gene therapy clinics in the city. Let's try again. It's a spot frequented by hybrids getting their medical care. That's what makes it a target. It's a hotbed of political issues, all materialized in physical location. Gene therapy is a long and uncomfortable process. If you'd like to look into splicing for yourself, let's save that for, our other, for after our investigations. Um, let's look at the crowd. The group of protesters in front of the Genus Clinic. Looks more like than a couple of people are part of these after all. Oh, no, didn't want to talk to him. We shouldn't go too deep into the crowd. Let's talk to more visible folks. Mutant genes, keep it clean! These slogans are terrible. Yeah, most protest slogans are. Even if the protest is a worthwhile one, their slogans tend to be pretty bad. Um, uh, sign holding protester. They're holding a sign, one half of stay pure. Protester, we want to bring humanity back to a simpler time, a better time, before our rampant use of hybridization and cybernetics made us have to question the very nature of our humanity. Let's talk to him again. Alright, he only has one line to say. Uh, let's look at this protester, another one of the Human Revolution protesters. They seem passionate and diligent despite how long they've been out here. Uh, wait, we didn't talk to him. Come, support us in our efforts to put the brakes on the runaway march of progress before it's too late for humanity. Alright, so each one of these people just have that one line. Dude, they're, they're doing the slob squat. Uh, who would want to spend their holiday season doing this? 
Aren't you tired of being told that if you undergo some elective gene therapy or cybernetic enhancement that you, you'd be better than a human instead of less than one? No? This really doesn't seem too fun. Yeah, that, that'd be terrible on your quads. Or whatever, whatever your thigh muscles are, your calf muscles. I'm not, I'm not an expert or a uh, worker outer. They must hate hybrids more than they enjoy their free time. Aren't you sick of losing job opportunities to people willing to sacrifice their humanity for a chance at a quick buck? Mm -hmm. No. Who would want to join this club? Aren't you tired of being told by the media that you aren't good enough to be a, as good enough as a regular human? Again, no. It's not hard to see why hybrids hate their this rhetoric. Technology is a gift, but a powerful and dangerous one to be used with care. We as a species have forgotten that. All right, let's talk to the police, Rom. It's Unit NSFPD 72. She's just here to keep the peace. She looks like she's right there with the organization. Police ROMs are just like regular cops. You don't touch. Do not touch. Let's zap it. You shouldn't point that at ROMs. You especially shouldn't point it at police ROMs. The chatter of the new SFPD police system f stream fills your ears. Is is this even legal? Uh, let's give it some super spoiled milk. By my approximation, this carton is 11 or more days past its expiration point. Uh, show it our ID. Your identification credentials have been stored and will be recalled for use when appropriate. Uh oh. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. I'm here to ensure that the protesters remain peaceful. Okay. I think we've checked out everything except for this guy. Protest leader. This is Brian whatever, right? An animated older man leads a group of protesters. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? It's Jim Sterling! Of course Jim Sterling would play the outspoken guy. I have pamphlets. Here, take one. I'll have to go check out the brochure. Yannick Fair Fairlight said to introduce myself, I have one of his cards here. I'm writing a story on the protest. Can we speak on the record? Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in? Yeah, that's me. You know, my buddy Hayden. He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. Uh, your organization seems like the likely candidate. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? We found human revolution graffiti spray-painted all over the apartment and some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. That's a pretty sick pompadour. I don't know if I can distrust a pompadour like that. I think Jim Sterling should get a pompadour. But, off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. You don't seem very trustworthy, especially with that tie scarf thing that you're wearing. Is there something else I can help you with? Could I ask some questions about the human revolution? Uh, yes. What questions can I answer for you? Oh, I got so many. What are the ultimate goals of the human revolution? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology, with nothing to ensure our safety. 
The revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. This world is Icarus, flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. Just because we can, doesn't mean we should. Why protest at this clinic? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. How do you plan on enacting the social change you want? Through violence? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. It falls to us to make sure that people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Is there something else I can help you with? I think that's gonna be the end of the questions. No, thank you for your time. I appreciate course, it, Brian. If you have any I already forgot your last name. Free to come back. I always have time for the press. You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. Oh, thanks, Turing. I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. I do my best. Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. This ROM looks really fun. Let's just bouncing along. What do you think about what he said? The only thing that are that overcomes hard luck is hard work, Turing. Standing here drawing isn't gonna find him. Let's, I let's talk a little bit before we get before we get snarky. On the mesh net had led me to believe. That's fair. I meant if he was telling the truth. Oh, well, he didn't appear to be lying, but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. Now, I'm gonna say something about Jim Sterling, but I don't mean it in, a, in an offensive way. He has one of those voices that I just don't trust, so when I hear this character talking like Jim Sterling, it makes me not trust him. Now, as to as say, that Jim Sterling isn't trustworthy. He says a lot of stuff that I do believe in. It's just his tone of voice is what you gets have me more sometimes. more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? Um, I don't think he was telling us everything. Hmm. I'll continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. Lead on. And don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. Um. Uh... The Hassie Bar is another f a favorite local spot that is open 24-7, the best place to find plenty of great new Hassie flavors. Hassie Holdings just released a new Hassie Hot Cup, a disgusting combination of Hot Cup Instant Ramen and Hassie Hot. That sounds pretty awful. No ramen is that instant. Try inside. There's an in-depth cooking lesson all about how Hot Cup Ramen is made. 
whatever kind of strange food swap this would be, you'd be definitely be the one coming out on top. Uh, throw our ID at it. Even if you display your ID at the sign, no ramen will find its way to you. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's talk to it. You can't make an order from out here. That's not a speaker. Well, you can't talk into speakers Maybe we'll anyway. Find something inside there, or we could at least get a drink. I'm just exploring, all right. Well, don't judge me. Even though it's been around so long, Sutro Tower is still very useful as a powerful broadcasting antenna for high-speed data. Let's listen to it. It's out of range, but the soothing hum you hear while staring out at the calming view speaks louder in the end. Uh, I want to read the brochure. Let me look at it. It's propaganda, and they really could have used better paper stock. Alright. Uh, let's talk to the weather ROM. Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM model 6703, if I am not mistaken. Apparently, it is owned by the Hassi Bar, based on this identification marker. I'm loving this MIDI, uh, smooth jazz music. This is great. Uh, let's touch it. This kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi Bar. So we're gonna need to steal an RFID chip from inside of there. You shouldn't attack the poor weather rum. When am I gonna get to use that thing? This is like Chekhov's gun, come on! A vibrant mix of weather sounds and natural ambience fills your ears. Ambiance. Are you prepared to be responsible for creating a new kind of tropical storm? One with a spoil of milk for rain? Oh, that sounds dope. I think I would be kind of prepared for that. The weather rom glances at your ID and spits out some snow, coating the front of it. Swell. Let's talk to him. Let's not. Two's company. Three's a cloud. Ha ha ha. Uh. So I guess we just gotta go inside. Let's look at the door first. The Hassie bar door has a festive wreath on it. Oh yeah, it's Christmas time. Alright, let's, let's look at everything first. A feature documentary exploring the queer side of virtual reality. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Another VR poster, a business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. Duck Game. Ah, Duck Game! That's a real game in the real world. Why can't I... There we go. Duck Game began as a traditional video game, but it's recently become a popular VR sport. All the kids are quacking about it. Did the same developer of Duck Game make this, or is it just their friends? It's a poster for Magical Commander Yukino, a Magical Girl VR drama. This is the most picturesque Christmas tree imaginable. Its branches are perfectly spaced, every decoration is placed meticulously. Can we push it over? Pure Christmas spirit flows through you momentarily. Uh, zap it. You really shouldn't be allowed to carry that. We were given to it by a we were given it by a police officer. Traditional Christmas fair plays interspersed with the occasional modern holiday party song. So I got this self-watering uh, pl plant. There are rumors that the plants here are actually given hassy, not water. You tap on the glass, the plant doesn't seem to notice. It'd be creepier if it did notice. Uh, why are you shooting at inanimate objects? Because why would I shoot at animate objects? That's a more important question while you're asking me the alternative. Even the plant seems to want you to buy some hassy. Uh, so I got the table. It's a compu table, good for playing games and reading uh, reading feeds while sipping a hassy. You touch the surface of the table and you in your own interface window appears. You're in no danger. Save your ammo. Oh, this is another table. A feed about the history of hassy begins playing. I'm surprised the oh there's bench. I'm surprised the table didn't want me to buy some hassy. Spotless, as expected from your hydro hydrophobic suede. You can play games or watch feeds while you drink and even order a drink from right here. Uh, no time to rest anymore, sleepyhead. Ain't no rest for the wicked. We have to get, we have our mission, let's get to it. Full steam ahead. Uh, let's listen to it. A relaxing ambient, ambient version of the Hassy theme starts playing. They actually want people to hang out here, apparently. Um, 
Let's check out uh, the menu. It's the digital Hassy menu. Even when you don't want to drink, it's fun to watch the screen flash. Welcome to Hassy Bar. Try a. They have all the basic hot cup. No, the hot cup sounds terrible. They have all the basic Hassy flavors, but their specialty menu has other Hassy Bar exclusive drinks like Sassy Hassy, Hoisin Hassy, Classy Hassy, and a Grassy Hassy shot. If you want a Hassy, you have to pay the Hassy ROM. Uh, let's listen to it. The voice of a ROM starts reading out the Hassy Bar's menu. We already read through it. Let's check out the counter. The counter is so clean it shines. It almost looks like it's emitting its own light. You can see the different Hassy through glass, but you can't reach in and grab one. Only the Hassy ROM can. Let's break it open. Are you really going to shoot recklessly? Yeah, I've been trying to. I think I'm getting the option to shoot, but I want to talk to people first. Good to know I have the option to shoot here. Everyone loves Hassy. Looks like they've got a grassy Hassy shot. Uh, using item. No. This is a place of Hassy, not violence. Let's talk to this dude. I really do like a good ha Sassy Hassy. Hassy Hot is also great. It doesn't sound very great. Um, she looks like someone that is gonna that we're gonna have long dialogue with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to the Hassy Rom. Please don't oh me. no, I got. Don't get me into a conversation. I want to be able to save the game. Hassy Rom, don't worry. We've already linked your purchases to your Hassy Points account. Future scary. Hassy Rom, sorry, no custom ingredients. Let's try talking to him before trying to shoot him. You buy a grape hassy. Yum! I guess I didn't get a choice. Don't zap a rom. You can seriously harm it. Uh, that's the end goal. Uh, it's been, it's been about 22 minutes. I think we should call it for there, for now. And, uh, pick it up again tomorrow. So, I'm gonna save it. Let's go to the menu. Throw a save on this game. Uh, I click save. Save. Yes, override is is fine. Uh, stop protest. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, come again tomorrow for another, another uh, installment of 2064 Read Only Memories. Uh, later.